point, I want to make a few notes about hand sewing that I forgot to mention before. Um, the smaller and neater your stitches are, the better your final product is going to look. Because the stitches hold two pieces of fabric together. And when you begin to pull on them, pull on the two separate pieces of fabric, the stitching is gonna, gonna show. So if you have big stitches, then the thread is gonna show and like stuffing is gonna show and it's not gonna look as nice. You also want your stitches to be uniform so that it won't look like some sort of jagged teeth or something when you sew them up. I also want to talk about how to end your stitches. So when you run out of thread or you come to a point where you want to stop, what you do is you just catch a little bit of your previous stitching. So you see my needles going under a previously stitched black thread stitch. Pull until you have a loop and then run your needle through that loop. Okay. Thus creating two loops. See two loops. You pull so that you make the on the thread such that you make the first loop smaller. Uh, it's kind of blurry. You see now the first loop has all but disappeared. And then you run your needle through this current loop again. And you do the same thing. Once you do that maybe twice, then you just kind of put your thumb over it and pull until the loop is entirely gone. Then you make a knot. This is a really nice knot because if you make everything tight, that is you tighten all the loops beforehand, um, then the knot is right against the fabric. And later on, when we're um, sewing stuff on the outside of the plushie, we're going to want that because we don't want any sort of stitching knots or loose ends to show up. So to hide your, your remaining thread, you just poke your needle right, where, right, right near where your knot is and poke it out somewhere else. Pull it through. You have this dangling loose thread, but that doesn't matter. You just snip it. And it's gone. There we go. Oh yeah, one more thing I, I need to mention. When you're hand sewing, make sure you make your, your stitches tight, but not too tight. If they're too tight, they're going to accordion. But if they're too loose, then the, what's the point? The, sti the stitching's going to come apart. Your plushie won't hold together. But yeah. Okay, so now you have the bottom of the foot sewn to the rest of the leg, like this. You should trim off just the tip of the toe where there's a lot of fabric and the edge of the heel for the same reason. And then turn it inside out, similar to how you turned the hand inside out before. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. Got a foot. Now this part is where I'm going to wire the legs and the arms. You don't actually have to do this. You can have a negative man with just floppy legs and arms. But I think you will enjoy it being posable too. So I'll show you how it's done. This is a good side. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to take my wire. Can you see it? And I'm going to... Let's see. Well, first I want to take one of the ends and just make a bit of a circle with it. And then clamp it down so that 
the circle isn't going to come apart. This way it won't poke anything and once it's inside the plushie it's not going to destroy the fabric. It's just kind of a circle, a loop. Okay. Gotta try and straighten this sucker out a bit. And I want to make it about the length of my leg all the way up to the toe and then double it around and have it be the length of the leg again. Yes, I thought this long is good. I'll cut it. Here's my length of wire. To the other end I want to do the same thing. And the end, the I'm going to fold it in two, and basically the folded end I'll just leave mostly loose, mostly kind of open. I'm not going to crimp it too much. And I'll just stuff it into the leg. I'm going to bend the wire such that the heel is touching as well. Or at least try to. And then these outside bits I'm just going to fold on opposite directions so that they don't fall back into, into the leg. And now I'm going to stuff the leg. For stuffing, it's really important to do a little bit at a time. The temptation is to be impatient and take the whole bunch and stuff it in, but that's not going to work. It's going to be all lumpy and not pleasant. So you just take a little at a time, push it in to the hole, take your chopstick or whatever, and push it until it reaches the very end. And just keep doing that. Or you can use hemostats. Just makes it so easy. I'm gonna put this in the oven, and like Martha Stewart, I'm gonna have a perfect one. Ta da! This one's been stuffed and it has wires. So you see, this wire isn't very strong, so the move and the fabric is pretty thick, so it's not. It doesn't hold a pose too much, but it's quite charming, I think. Now it's time to pose the hand, to put wire in the hand, which is quite a bit harder. So again, I'm going to take wire. Oh, my poor wire. Loop the end. And kind of have it follow the hand and attempt to kind of make a skeleton. So first, I'm seeing how long it takes, how, how much wire I need to touch the pinky, and then fold it back in. And then at around the middle of the hand, like around here, 
I'm going to loop back up and see how much it will take to fill the second finger. And then at around the same point, one more finger. At this point, like it's good to be kind of generous with the wire because more often than not, you're going to find that you don't have enough wire. And loop back again to cover the thumb. And then back out again. Back out of the arm. Oh boy. Cutting the wire, looping it. I do here. So at the base of each finger, where all of them, around here, where all of the wires are meeting, you want to give each finger a bit of a twist just so they hold their position. So you can see here the thumb and the first finger have been slightly twisted. And finally, where the, you want to twist the wires at the wrist. Well, there, you see, I have kind of a hand. Hello. Now here is also a tricky part. Is to stuff the wire into this hand. This is tricky because like what will happen is the wires, maybe two of the wires will go into one finger and we don't want that so make sure you f feel around and to make sure that all the wires go into each finger and start again if it doesn't. <laughs> 